WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we got a slightly mixed bag out there. That mix is coming from the Dow, the only U.S. indice trading to the downside. It's off about 37 points, one-tenth of a percent. Otherwise, the other U.S. indices are trading to the upside. Now, the S&P is basically flat, up two points, one-tenth for the NASDAQ, 117 points, nine points for the Russell. That's a half a percent, one and a half percent for the semis, 54 points there. Trend is up one percent. The uh, gold is up four bucks. That's two percent, uh, two quarter, that's a two-tenths of a percent. Silver's up 48 cents. That's 2% there. Lightspeed crude is off seven pennies. Natural gas up three cents. Trade out at 287. And the 30 year Treasury, four ticks to the upside, 128.01. Let's take a look at what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini. What we have here is your good old fashioned consolidation with inside profile levels. The bottom of that profile are support, 43.62, resistance up at 44.75. Spot volatility still remains below its 50-day exponential moving average, still rising, but below the 50-day, and therefore it is really the wind is at the sails. It gives an edge to the to the to the buyers of the bulls out there. The NQ does have a uh, a TD sequential top out there, and prices consolidate with inside its daily profile. Now that daily profile range, we've got two different levels. We will use the black background charts right here, and that's up at the. Uh, Resistance is up at 15,370 and support is down at 14,950. Now, if you look closely, I'll just simply expand out the chart. You'll see that there is a new weekly profile that is attempting to form. This profile is above the prior profile. That's a bullish signal from a weekly standpoint. This profile is wrapping around the prior daily profile out there. So we could be looking at just a further consolidation continuing. Now, if price were to close below 14,950, we would say price would make a run for the 14,840 level. 14,845, I'll get it out. 14,845 is the bottom of the profile on the uh, white background charts of the Ninja Trader charts out there. So that becomes a real key area of support. That's if we see a close below uh, 14,950. If you take a look at the US dollar index, found support at a prior swing point. Trade above profile suggests a change in trend to the upside. We've got a new profile attempting to form inside of gold, 1925.60 being support, 1956 being resistance. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Monday, please have a magnificent one. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.